He is making me feel very, very lazy right now. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Thank you very much. Well, how are you getting on? Cruising here at like 30,000 feet. Pretty sure that's Vietnam down there. On the way to Singapore right now from Hong Kong. Going to be in Singapore just for one night leaving in the morning to continue on to Australia. So, this is going to be a short layover. It's 1 p.m. now, not landing until around 2.30. So, I'll take you with us. My brother is with me, he's sitting in front. And also, I've got chewing gum in my pocket. Chewing gum is illegal in Singapore, so... We gotta smuggle it in. Wish me luck, baby. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Let's go. Vogue life, baby. <laughs> So we're here now and actually couch surfing with a friend that I couch surfed with here in October, Xian Bang. But he's actually, funnily enough, in New Zealand, whoever, he's been kind enough to let us stay in his place. His mother's actually there. So I'm not going to film that part. We're going to go up now, sort ourselves out, then we're going to go head in, get a Hawker Chan Michelin star chicken and rice, one of the cheapest ones in the world. Have a look at Marina Bay, the Marina Sands Bay Hotel, etc, etc, etc. Let's go. <laughs> so there you go, that might seem extremely random. Because it is. <laughs> but you have to take these opportunities when you can in Singapore because you know it's a very expensive city. Anyway, nonetheless, we're staying in Tampanese and now we're going into the city centre. Let's go. So this is how you pay for stuff in Singapore. It's kind of like self-service except kind of not really because there is a human there. Stick the money in. Wait for the money to come out. Thank you very much. Did you know that the metro in Singapore drives by itself? Probably is fascinating. Look at It is absolutely sweltering. It's just gone 4.30 p.m. Got myself a little coffee because I'm falling asleep. It's a long day so far. How are you finding it, Rob? Do you like Singapore? I'm loving Singapore. It's class. Looks a little bit like a Spanish village around here. Good luck, baby. You know it's good luck to rub a butter's belly. You have to give him an offering and you did. So. Oh. Oh, not bad, lovely. Unbelievable! Right, so here we are, the order is in. It is five dollars, five Singaporean dollars for chicken and rice, and it is Michelin star, and I think it's the cheapest Michelin star in the world. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was here in October, I tried it in October, I didn't really rate it, if I'm perfectly honest with you, but nonetheless, it's so cheap that you cannot say no if you're here. You'd have to give it about a two out of 10 for presentation, but we'll let Robbie decide on the taste. Yeah. Here we go. Well, first of all, it's cold. <laughs> But well, that chicken is good. That is good chicken. I must say. It is good, but in my opinion, it's definitely not Michelin star. And I reckon since the place got a Michelin star status, it's probably turned into a bit of a factory. But hey, for the money, well worth it. Look at this man. Number two. Now, to be fair, it's quite small, you know. I'm, I'm a hungry man, so I've got a leg this time around. I'm not gonna lie, off the record, I also had a second one. <laughs> 
full to the brim right now, so just having a little look around Chinatown, see what we can find. Oh, two dollar bubble tea. Oh, coming in with a big Joe grab. Oh, taste test time, Robbie. Two dollar. And unfortunately, because of the plastic wrapping and the plastic cup and the plastic straw within a plastic wrapper, you have no choice but to use the straw. I don't know. So much for the environment, huh? I'll keep it and I'll use it again next time. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's it like? I actually can't drink that. It's terrible, it's is it? It's disgusting. It tastes like a bag of sugar has been poured in. It's actually filled. There you go. If you are in Chinatown, don't get a bubble tea if it's $2 because it's not going to be good. <laughs> Really nice murals all over the walls here in the back alleys of Chinatown. Worth wandering off the beaten path if you can. So Chinatown is definitely a place to visit in Singapore. Everything is reasonably priced. You can buy loads of different things, souvenirs and actual useful things, loads of places to eat. That was a little bit of Chinatown. Now time to head over to Marina Bay. Have a look. <laughs> 10 past six now, the sunset is gonna be, I don't know, soon, I guess it's before seven. Uh, if you didn't know, and something that you should know if you come to Singapore, whenever you're taking a subway to Metro, you can use contactless. You can use Google Pay, Apple Pay, just tap your Visa, your MasterCard, whatever, instead of having to buy a ticket. So handy, so convenient. Get involved. There she is, baby. Marina Sands, looking well. It's there absolutely is. colossal. Only when you're here in person can you truly appreciate the scale. It's huge. We're going to go up there very shortly. There's trees on the top. <laughs> yeah. It's so windy right now. <laughs> So windy. I feel like I'm gonna blow away. He is making me feel very, very lazy right now. That's motivation right there. A few crunches on a bench alongside the bay. We're inside the Marina Bay Sands and I'm 90% sure you can go up to the very top for free. Signs pointing us this way, out through the glass doors, turn left. So here's the story. You can go up to the bar, order a drink, and you're allowed to be up there. However, you're not allowed outside, so you're only like able to look through windows and stuff. Plus, there's a really big queue, and it's moving quite slow, the one we said. Second option, go up to the observation deck, 23 Singapore dollars per person. We're just gonna go for that, because you're only here once. Oh, beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. It's nice, isn't it? I don't normally say this about observation decks, but well worth the money. This beautiful views. 360 degrees around us right now we're looking at gardens by the bay and loads of boats in the bay and just uh, ah, not 360 it's cool you actually can't go up the other side oh okay yeah. left down, but almost 360 almost. Well, two, 270 270 180. <laughs> plenty of people just sitting on the ground up here as well kind of strange sitting in front of the i don't know the place for people to stand and have a look but it is what it is Very decent sun indeed, Rob. Very cool. Definitely worth it. I'd recommend this one if you're in Singapore, 100%.
Night has fallen upon us, beautiful sunset, beautiful views. We're gonna go down now, have a walk by Gardens by the Bay, catch the light show at 8.45. There's one at 7.45 as well, which is actually happening yeah, right now. Right but we'll catch the later one, have a little walk around, let's go. I feel like a storm is coming, yeah, Rob. Absolutely. <laughs> it's so windy right now. <laughs> Isn't that cool though? So cool. Walking around Walking Marina Bay, Gardens by the Bay area. It's and it's just so, so pleasant yeah, at this time as well. People are out walking, people are out jogging, people are out just enjoying life. And there's also this building here which you can paint into. I didn't do it the last time I was here. I'm not gonna do it this time either. It looks amazing though. Look at that, fabulous. We asked nicely, could we go in and have a look? And I asked nicely. He asked nicely. Could we go in, just have a quick look? And they let us in. It's normally like, how much is it? $28. 28 Singapore dollars to come in here. Now, this isn't the only feature. There's a lot of other things, but look, Cloud Forest for free. That was a nice one. It just goes to show you, don't ask and you won't receive. <laughs> There's a really good spot in here to take a photo with the Gardens by the Bay and the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. I was there last year courtesy of Shan Bang who we're staying with, even though he's not there. And we're just looking for that spot right now. You see, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Should I run or? I'd run and then just catch yourself on all fours, but if you slip in, don't blame me. So you're doing this at your own risk. Oh, I think I might have jumped. Oh, yeah. Yay! What a man! Yeah, yeah, don't move, don't move. Beautiful, okay. Should be good. Better if you have uh, a little tripod or something, and if yeah. you have a professional camera, I'm I'd a say... professional photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Use a shutter of about one second, an aperture of about ten, and put it on a two second timer or a five second timer like I was doing, hit this button and then hold a light on the subject. Of course there's a McDonald's in the distance over there, where aren't they? Just walking over to the light show, at least just the very end of it, I think that's it right now. Beautiful light show, beautiful light show. And that's of course that's what I was doing. We've been sitting here looking at the gardens by the bay. I don't know what they're called. Do you know what they're called? Yeah, gardens by the bay. <laughs> yeah, but the, the structures. We've been looking at them for about 20 minutes, chilling. Now we're going to a food court nearby called Satay by the Bay. <laughs> Look at the size of that fella and the other so fellas. Big. Holy shit. Rob, stand there for scale, will you? Oh, it's gonna go under, but I can't. Ready? <laughs> that is huge. Man. Fair play to you, bud. Ooh, look at this boy. Holy, I don't even know anymore. Wow. Big fish aquarium, right here. Oh, oh, Ooh, oh, Jesus. This is my friend Jack. Oh, he's a right prick. Yes, baby. There are a lot of options, but I'm kind of full. He's kind of full. Our body needs a few nutrients. That was some delicious fruit, and now we are, I guess, heading back to go to sleep, catch our flight in the morning. So I guess that's the end of the Singapore vlog. So what better way to end it than by having an illicit 
chewing gum, a luxury that the Singapore people unfortunately can't enjoy. Unreal. Oh, minty oh, fresh, baby, minty fresh. So anyway, believe. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at it's the Mur. Why not? Link in the description below. And if you're new, subscribe. Take it a step further. Ring the little bell. Be notified when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one real, real soon. Good, Good luck. luck. What a cool mall. I just can't believe that they didn't center the hole in the middle.